Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to test out something in this video and we are about to also see if we get a ton of ultra rares from the result. So let's see what happens. What's good everybody, Darkul here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be opening up a ton of three-pack blisters. Now, y'all already know that I love me, my three-pack blisters, and my single blistered Pokemon packs. I prefer them over an official booster box because the possibilities on three-pack blisters, ETB, single packs are endless, bro. And you can get so many ultra rares from three-pack blisters, single packs, if you're lucky like i said opening up pokemon cards is a gamble no matter what you're doing so in the last booster box that i opened up i'm not going to say any spoilers but it is the last video that i uploaded and i'm not gonna lie the results from a single booster box of unbroken bonds are very very disappointing you get so little ultras compared to past sets like team up in lost thunder those were bangers. Those sets on pool ratios were straight bangers. But on Broken Bonds, the booster boxes are kind of on the low side. So, I'm going to be opening up four of these blister packs in this video of Unbroken Bonds. I have the Typhlosion promo on all of them. And we're going to see exactly how many booster packs. Obviously, we got 12, so I don't know why I said that. But we're going to see exactly how many Ultra Rares can we get out of 12 booster packs now i picked these up from amazon for 12.99 because believe me i looked in stores i looked in walmart target walgreens everything you could think of and they didn't have no unbroken bonds in stock my guy they were absolutely wiped so i had a result into ordering these online and amazon has the fastest shipping two-day shipping so i had to cop it asap so guys if you're excited for today's video make sure you guys smash that like button right now let's try and get this video to 750 likes y'all already know we can do it because we are the ghoul army bro and also make sure you guys subscribe and join the ghoul army and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see on the screen without further ado guys let me go ahead and just open all of these blisters up and let's start the video, shall we? Let's see what we get. Alrighty guys, so I got everything out of the blisters. Now the first thing I'm gonna give you guys are the code cards because I don't keep any of these code cards, so I honestly do not need them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of them away after the video because the ghoul army can have them all. And then for the promo card, we got the Typhlosion holographic right there. I love Typhlosion so much. So it actually makes me happy that Typhlosion actually got a promo card. And it's fitting that Typhlosion is a promo in Unbroken Bonds because of what the set revolves around. There's like a lot of fire when it comes to Unbroken Bonds. And then for the coins, we got our typical Hydreigon coin, which we have seen multiple times already. So it's nothing special. But alrighty guys, I got the star of the show all ready to go. We got our booster packs towards the side. And let's just go ahead and dive right into this opening and see exactly how many ultra rares can we pull leave a guess in the comments down below we have 12 booster packs so how many ultras do you think we're gonna get out of 12 packs me personally i think we're gonna get three or fours but i have to pick one so i'm gonna go with four four ultra rares we're gonna pull in this video let's see what we get guys unbroken bonds sylveon and gardevoir right there so let's see if we can get a straight banger never mind because it is a green coat and when you get a green coat and unbroken bonds unfortunately <sighs> You get nothing. Not even a prism. Not even a break. Nothing, bro. You get absolutely nothing. But guys, I just realized something. This year, these upcoming months is going to be so huge for Pokemon because 
there is a lot coming out you know tcg wise game wise there is just a lot going on for pokemon so this is definitely like a huge year and i'm just so excited for all the brand new products that are going to be releasing for the pokemon tcg and let me not forget the games everybody pokemon sword and shield i just can't wait for all this pokemon shenanigans to come out because we about to go crazy you feel me we're gonna play the tcg we're gonna be opening up the new products and we might also be playing the games on this channel i don't know if i want to do it on the main channel or if i want to do it on the gaming channel i'm honestly not sure but let's go ahead and move on to the next booster pack right here so far we are on a green code streak but we got our first white code right here of unbroken bonds so let's see if we can get a straight banger with our first white code from these three pack blisters but then again my luck with three pack blisters it's like 50 50. sometimes i get straight bangers every single time and then other times this happens and i get holographics for all of my white coats which i do not want to see because they're holographics bro they just bring down the hype when you get a white coat every single time but since it is our only pool let's just go ahead and put crobat as a star of the show just so it's not so empty back there but we got ourselves a reshizard booster pack up next that's what i'm talking about right there that's what i'm talking about so let's go ahead and do four do not feel the card dark ghoul you do not want to ruin it okay we got ourselves the sand dial the dotrio radicate weeping bell geodude and another holographic which is unfortunate i don't know it's just that i just hate seeing holographics in white coats why don't they make them in green coats because we need something in those green coats otherwise we're spending money for nothing but I guess it's just to make the cards more rare and more harder to pull and basically to reel you into the TCG a bit more. I kind of get where they're coming from. But this was a green code. So we got ourselves the Per Ugly in the cut. And I believe we're already halfway through, guys. And all we got to show for is two holographics so far. So my guess for four Ultra Rares is already going to die down i should have just said two ultras at the least because i feel like we might get one ultra but i don't think we're gonna get two or three or four maybe that might change with this pack imagine if we get that rainbow rare that hyper rare reshizard i know we pulled it already and if you guys have not watched that flip it or rip it y'all gotta go watch it right now because it's the scariest thing that's ever happened on the channel and i am never going to do a charizard edition flip it or rip it ever again so let's see what we get in this pack right here we got the toga kiss we got another hollow it's all good it's all good man it's all good i just paid what 13 dollars for each of these blister packs hollows are fine bro hollows are fine so here it is guys we are getting y codes i'm not gonna lie the y codes are very strong within these three pack blisters but we just have nothing to show for and it's honestly very depressing that's probably why people like buying booster boxes like even though unbroken bonds booster boxes don't have many ultras in it at least you're not ending up like me buying so many three pack blisters and getting nothing so we got the dog trio and we got our first ultra thank you venomoth thank you oh my god we needed this I don't have any sleeves near me. I do have penny sleeves, but I hate using these oversized penny sleeves. I stopped buying these penny sleeves and I started buying some perfect fit sleeves because I just hate having all this extra sleeve on the top of the card. So Crobat, step aside because we got the new star of the show. So honestly, I'm not going to lie. We have been getting a lot of white codes from these three pack blisters, but unfortunately, we're not getting the good 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 white codes we are getting the holographic white codes which is unfortunate but we did get a very nice mew right there so check that out very adorable and i love it so we got two packs left right i'm gonna decide which one we are gonna save for last is it gonna be the machamp or is it gonna be the gardevoir and sylveon booster pack is gonna have to be the machamp and marshadow i'm sorry i prefer machamp and marshadow over gardevoir and sylveon these two pokemon they're just not my type of pokemon i have nothing against them like for gardevoir and Gallade, 
I pick Gallade over Gardevoir any day of the week. And just because I said that, they gave us a green coat. So good job, Dark Ghoul. You just cursed yourself. Check that out. We got the Venomoth Reverse to go with our Venomoth GX. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. But it all comes down to this pack right here. Does this make the entire lot worth it? Should you buy three pack blisters? This is basically going to determine it all. If it's a banger banger, then it might be worth it to get some three pack blisters. But if it's a complete dud, I spent like what? Almost $50, $60 for four blister packs. You could basically almost buy a booster box. That's like more than half right there. And then you're on your way to getting a booster box of Unbroken Bond. So let's see if this is going to determine all that. In three, two, and... Oh, what a clutch! What a clutch! Oh my god. This is the one. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, do not reveal it. Do not reveal anything. Do not reveal anything, Dargul. Okay. Let's see exactly what we get. I am so pumped right now. I don't want to reveal the borders or anything along those lines. So let's see exactly what we're working with. We got Green's Exploration. We got War Turtle. And it all comes down to the card that is behind this very skinny Tyrogue. That definitely could use some milk. Like, look at the homie, man. You want some whole milk or what? Okay, let's get back on topic. And let's see exactly what the final card is in this three pack blister opening is going to be none other than the volcanion holographic man i mean there's a downside and an upside to this card the upside is it's not your typical cheap holographic the downside is it's a holographic instead of an ultra rare. like i believe this volcanion is worth more than anything that we pulled combined you feel me like i honestly believe that and i will show you guys when we get to the recap but that is gonna do it for all of the blister packs unfortunately we did not get a straight true banger and i don't know if i can keep trusting these three pack blisters bro because well look look what we got but guys we are now on to the recap and i'm basically going to show you guys the highlights of the video we got the Mew Reverse, which is absolutely amazing. We got the Crobat Holographic, and if any of these cards have a value of over $1 or more, I will be putting the value as I show you the card on the screen. So like I said, we got the Crobat on deck. We got Donald Trump's Wall, and the reason why I call it Donald Trump's Wall is because I cannot pronounce the name of this Pokemon, and I do not want to struggle on camera, so I just give it a nice little nickname. And next up, we got the Viaplume Holographic, which I do believe sees some play, but I don't think it's crazy expensive yet unless it like does really well in a tournament or something along those lines. And then we got the Volcanion Holographic, which is very, very nice. For some reason, I feel like I've seen this artwork before, but I'm not 100% sure. You feel me? So let's go ahead and put that down and show you guys the star of the show. It is none other than a Venomoth gx everybody it's not the best ultra rare to pull but i love this pokemon and i love this gx card and i love ultra rare so it is definitely a plus for me so that's gonna do it for today's video guys leave a comment down below what do you guys prefer single packs blisters or booster boxes what are your thoughts on these three pack blisters do you actually like buying them, you know, besides trying to get the promo that it comes with? Or do you really enjoy their pull ratios? I don't know. I'm kind of mixed feelings when it comes to blister packs. I prefer single packs over blister packs any day of the week. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Don't forget to smash that like button and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.